when you experience something supernatural, it can be the most unforgettable experience you will ever have. Hindi ito yung nakakita ka ng multo o tikba lang. This is about experiencing something that does not normally happen and, and can only happen with the intervention of God. Ito yung mga karansan na mariwanag na ang Diyos lamang ang makakagawa. Believe it or not, but I have had a few supernatural experiences in my life. I've seen compelling visions. Uh, I've received miraculous blessings uh, and, and deep inner healing. And all these are forever marked in my heart and I will never forget them. And I tell people about them every opportunity I get. I'm not special. You know, I experience these supernatural things not because I'm special, because you know, I'm just a, a regular guy. I'm an ordinary guy. But by the grace of God, He allowed me to have these unforgettable experiences so that I can testify about the wonders of God. There is this group of people in the Bible who were also seemingly not special, but they were blessed with a supernatural experience. These were shepherds in the field. It was to shepherds that the angel first announced the birth of the Messiah. You'd expect that such world-changing events would be announced to political leaders or religious leaders, even to the rich and powerful and to the most educated. But no. It was not announced in a palace or in a temple nor in a school. It was announced to simple shepherds out in the field. We learn about this in the Gospel according to Luke. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. What a sight to behold. The glory of the heavens in plain sight. Oh, to behold the angel armies of God in, in their full splendor, worshiping God and giving glory to Him. What a privilege it was for these shepherds to be the first to see the Son of God in the flesh, the Savior of the world in, in swatting clothes, lying on a manger. For sure, it was a supernatural experience for those shepherds. And, and they would most likely have told that story to every person they knew all the days of their lives. As they saw the baby Jesus, I'm sure that they believed in him too. And their lives were changed for good, forever. How about you? What if an angel appeared to you today and announced to you that the King of Kings... The Lord, our Savior, is here. What would you do? Would you do as the shepherds did? Would you come to Jesus and worship Him? There are unforgettable experiences that change the course of history. And, and when our lives are touched by them, our lives are changed. Jesus the Messiah has come. What would you do if you knew that Jesus is in your neighborhood? Would you visit Him with excitement and awe? And bow down and worship. Alam mo, sanay tayo na ang hinahangaan natin yung mga sikat, uh, mayaman, maganda, mga impressive, yung mga may dating. Pero kung makikita mo ang, ang baby na itsurang mahirap at tila hindi hari at lalong hindi mo kang Diyos, maniniwala ka pa rin ba at sasambahin siya? As we think about the shepherds who had the supernatural experience of seeing the baby Jesus and how hearing the good news of the kingdom of God has the power to change the course of our lives, 
when we take heed of Him. Always remember, faith matters to you.